Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Things over here thrown. What in the world? What up, what up? How is everybody doing? <clears throat> welcome, 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 everybody. Oh, I'm going to back up a little bit. Travis in the house. No, no, <laughs> there are not people around me. Just, just the rocks. Um, I just got a bunch of teeth pulled, so my face is a little bit swollen still. So, just so nobody's freaking out, I just wear this to alleviate all that. Shake it back, baby. Late as usual. You know what, Jim? I like to use my, I have an external mic that I plug in, but I need like a little adapter because, you know, iPhones have to be annoying and not have just a regular aux port. So I was looking for that little adapter, but I could not find it. <laughs> yeah, no, Daniel, nobody is around me. All right, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 geodes for tonight. Well, 11 geodes and two nodules. But, I think, so these are the two nodules that I've got. So I think we're going to do these first. These are from a road cut. If you are not familiar with what a road cut is, it's just basically when they blast out a big portion of a mountain or a hill that they don't want to build a road going over it, so they go right through it. So you typically end up with big walls of material on either end of the road and the road cut that I was at just kind of pluck these right out of the wall so we're going to crack a couple of these open normally they're solid sometimes they're like a geode but this particular road cut has some really nice uh, clear calcite so we're going to try and see if maybe we can find some of that <clears throat> Welcome to the show, everybody. Hopefully everybody's having a nice night. The weather's getting nicer, which is always a plus. Means we can get out there and do some rock collecting. <clears throat> All right. If you are new here, this thingamajig that I'm using right here is called a soil pipe cutter. That's what I use to crack open geodes and things like that. So you're about to see one in use. But here we go. Hopefully it's not just a dud. And okay. This one is pretty interesting. We get to see an, a mineral that we don't normally see. So this has got some calcite, calcite, blah, calcite. And you can also see it's got a little bit of dolomite right up here. So you can see the sheen right here of that calcite. And then like I said, that orange up here is dolomite. So really interesting. Pretty cool. We've got one more of these things to, uh, to crack open. I got about, about a half bucket full of them. Um, and these I actually want to cut and see how they, they turn out. But this one here is pretty big and it's pretty light. So I'm hoping that we end up with maybe some, uh, some quartz in here. But we will see. I'm going to try and go around this way to get the, the biggest face that we can. <clears throat> oh.
Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Oh yeah, Missy in the house. Always crack a lacking in here. Always. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I don't know if you saw in the description. You don't have to tag anybody, but shout out the people that you love to collect rocks with or the people that support your addiction. I mean your hobby. I mean addiction. I mean hobby. <laughs> All right, here we go, guys, with nodule number two. Yeah, look at that. Really pretty. I was right. I love when I'm right. We got some really pretty quartz in here, guys. Caught it. Hey, what's up, guys? Look at this one. It's really pretty. Looks like some ears. Right? <laughs> really nice. Very, very pretty. So... Yeah, guys, if you are, if you're ever near a road cut, be sure to check it out. You might just come across some nodules. That's what this is right here. This is considered a nodule that also happened to be a geode. Oh, yeah. That's one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite things about cracking open geodes that out of, all the time it took to build, like, or not to build these, not that I built these, uh, <laughs> out of all the time it took for these to create, because the material that I collected is roughly 350 to 330 million years old. Um, so to be the first person to see it is, is pretty awesome. And that's why I started streaming it and sharing it with everybody, because it was just a lot. <laughs> Give me a moment here. Gotta get the Snapple Apple. Um, I thought a nodule was just a solid geo. Um, I don't know. A solid geo is considered a nodule, but you can't say that all nodules are just solid geodes. If that makes sense. Because nodule is a broad term. So in that scenario where it's coming out of a road cut like that, those nodules that you collect can be geodes, but they don't all have to be geodes. Like that, that road cut there has a lot of, you know, calcite nodules. So in calcite is just, you know, I, I've got a buddy who collects in that same road cut and he's cracked open some that was just a big old slab of clear calcite <clears throat> so that i would call a calcite nodule i wouldn't call that a calcite geode i guess it just it boils down to your preference you know oh yes and thank you jason you brought it up before i had a chance to yes i just hit 350 subscribers yeah i know dude i know jim johnson okay <laughs> I guess I mean in the sense that when I go and I collect these, I when I'm pulling them out of the wall, I'm calling those nodules. If I bust it open and it's a geode, sweet, this one just happens to be a geode. But I'm not going to call all of them geodes, you know. Just like when I go to the creek and I don't know if these are going to be solid or not, I call all these geodes. It's just, you know, to each their own. It's just a matter of how you, how you describe it, I guess. <coughs> All right, so we are gonna start this off with, <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with that, man. We're, we're reaching milestones together. So this one here is a geode, right? I think. And it rattles, but check this one out, guys. 
This is a geodized fossil that has remnants of some sort of shell. Now this one, this one I don't know. I think it has the shape of a brachiopod. That's for sure. But if you are familiar with any of the organisms from, um, I'm not even gonna s pretend to guess which uh, era it is. I think it's late Mississippian. So this could be a brachiopod, but let me show you something. Now, I am not see any ridges in there, okay? I don't. I have geodized fossils that are brachiopods, but you can see the ridges of the shell. Oh, 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 oh don't do this to me on live stream, Travis. <laughs> oh man, dude, oh, I don't know. There's so much, I, I would love obviously some agates and petrified wood, definitely. Like, I don't, I, I love agate, is my one of my favorites, but from the Yellowstone, I think I might choose some of the petrified wood over some of the agates. But, oh man, sorry. Um, so yeah, this one is a brachiopod for sure because I can see some of the structure of the shell in there. This one, on the other hand, I don't. <clears throat> um, so this one, I kind of think might be a goniotite, which is an ammonoid. It's in the ammonite family. Um, ooh, man, with amber in it. Ooh. Well, I I'll trade you something for some of that, Daniel. That'd be cool. So this, I don't know, we're, we're gonna crack it open and we're gonna go around this way. I'm not gonna try not to damage any of this fossil that's left in here and just go around this way. But I don't know, we're gonna see it definitely rattles. I think maybe, what up John? How you doing, how you doing? Maybe we might see some botryoidal chalcedony in there, but I'm not sure. Let's see. So I definitely think that I'm like, I think I'm shadow banned on Facebook because for the past couple weeks, people haven't really getting, been getting the notifications of my live streams and things like that. You know, we used to average like 30 to 40 people in watching at a time. Um, yeah, see, I don't know. It's weird. It's, yeah, Jen, this isn't set up like a gaming one, so you can't subscribe that way. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. Something's going on with it. I may... What I might do is I have a Facebook page for my my Geode Cracker and Collector page now. So I might just start my streams over there so everybody can subscribe to that and definitely get notifications because that's my own page. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Get out of the way, Geode. So I'm going to be a little particular with this one. So like I said, I don't want to do anything to break whatever that shell stuff is. <clears throat> but here we go, guys. Geode number one and the third thing we're cracking on the mat. Come on, don't break it. Really? She's putting up a fight. And boom goes the dynamite. All right, we still have all the shell, too, or whatever it is. 
Mm. Okay. Everybody do what Jen said. So this one's weird. Got some dirty quartz in there. Not what I was expecting, but still pretty interesting. You can see some sparkle. But. <clears throat> All right, moving on. All right. If you are just tuning in, welcome to the show, guys. I hope you're having a good Wednesday so far. We are busting open some geodes here. And seeing if we can't find some pretty stuff. All right, got another little rattler here. So we'll see. We'll see what's inside there. And if you guys did not see, did not see, whoa, if you guys did, didn't did see, <laughs> I posted a new video up on YouTube today, a new collecting video, so be sure to check that out. If you want to, you can just click on my name or my profile here within the group, guys, and then it's the... Uh, the last thing that I shared in the group earlier today. So be sure to check that one out. Found some interesting things. But here we are, guys. Keep hearing mice. Whoa! Wow. Shoot. Dang it, I wish I knew. I wish I knew where my UV light was. I'm gonna show you this side first. So we got some quartz here. It's got a very light coating of chalcedony on it. You can see whole double terminated points in this one. But check this one out. This one has got water opal in there. It's a little dirty, but if you see right on this point in here, it's highlight. It is Thursday, dang. <laughs> my bad guys. I'm so used to doing Wednesdays and then I went out by my mom's yesterday. So I wish I had my UV light because if I did, that all that right there would be glowing under the UV light. But I think it's inside. I've got my batteries all charged up. So that is a really, really nice chunk of it. That's probably the biggest chunk I've. <laughs> Happy hump day point five. But yeah, very interesting. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, Lord. Ah, love me some Snapple Apple. Delicious. Not a sponsor. Maybe one day. All right. Moving on. <clears throat> Got an interesting looking one here. Doesn't really rattle, but that's okay. They don't always have to rattle for there to be something cool in them. Some of the best ones, some of the best shields that I've cracked open, they did not shake, and I thought they were solid, and I was proven wrong, but I don't normally like to be wrong, but in those instances, I'm totally fine with being wrong. <laughs> 
All right, guys. If you are curious, this device here is called a soil pipe cutter. Uh, it's what I use to bust open geodes. I will have a video coming out on my YouTube channel in two weeks. Um, that is going to be a hands-on, fully immersive informational video, an educational video on how to use one of these to crack open geodes. So, if you have one of these and want to know how to use it, check that video out. But, moving on. Probably gonna be solid. Oh. Not solid. Just a pain in the butt. See? Like I said, sometimes I'm wrong. But majority of the time, if it's a little one like that, and it's putting up a fight, it's most likely going to be solid. So, we got lucky with that one. Man, we saw two, four, six, eight. We still got eight geos left, guys. Madness. This is why I love having a lot of geos, because then I can just have shows where I just do a whole bunch. Um... Now we're going to do this guy, which I'm anticipating it being solid, but we will see. I like cracking these ones because normally they're very, very dense, so it'll give a nice split. And these ones polish up so beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know, Jim. Thanks for clarifying for everybody. So this, I actually think, is a bivalve of some sort. So we can see down here, it's rounded. And then up here, not so much. But you never know. We're going to crack it open and find out. Well, not find out what it was. But we're going to find out if it was worth me picking up or not. Come on, you pain in the took us. There we go. Got it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Looks like some sort of oyster. Ugh. There we go. Man, whenever I sell this house and move out of here, I'm going to have to ex explain all these scrapes on the ground over here. I'll just send them the link to my YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. Hopefully we don't lose it. Well, all right. Solid, but that's okay. Oh man. So we got a little little quartz. Pretty stuff. I may cut the rest of this one off. See if I can't get a flat face to try and polish up. But yeah. More surprise quartz. I guess it's quartz on the menu tonight, guys. Should we keep doing the little ones 
or should we do one of the big ones? Let me know. I'm gonna get a refreshment here. Get the big. All right. We getting a big one. All righty. We got another turtle. Another turtle shell, guys. I got a pretty big head, and this one's almost as big as my head. So... It is definitely a big old brachiopod. Here, let me put my mask behind it so you can see the shape. You can see down here, that's the base of it. So, yeah, I've, I've seen them. I've seen them that way too, but I'm not a fan. I like the mobility and, and freedom. I get with the way I do it. I don't see anybody do it the way I do it. I like being different. Whoa! I almost fell. <laughs> My mama always said I was special, so I don't need to mount it on a table. Now, uh, I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and go around this way, guys, but with the difficulties of that is, the shape of this is kind of rounded. So there's a good chance when I put the chain on there, which is just a wheel bearing that's gonna have a straight edge like this sitting on there, there's a good chance it's just gonna slip either way. I'll try it to see if we can get a nice face, but I can't guarantee it's gonna work. I will do my best. And that is all I can do. brother Nick was here because then he'd be like sitting in the corner with his guitar playing some beautiful music I mean I also play guitar but I can't be in the corner playing guitar and cracking geodes but I actually have decided that when I make videos like collecting videos and things like that um I'm gonna start recording my own recording my own music to use for my own videos. Alright, almost almost have it. It looks good, but can be a little bit better. Ah! You'll play the didgeridoo for me.
Oh, sorry about that. This better be worth it. Well, like I said, there's a good chance it's just gonna pop off because of the shape of the geode. But I really hope not. Well, look at that. We only have two links left in the chain. So it's pretty big. All right. Okay. No, it sparked. They spark all the time. All the time. Oh my lord. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed in me. And I'm disappointed in you guys. Nobody yelled at me for not having safety glasses on. <laughs> all right. They're on now. Here we go, guys. With this pain in the butt geode. That is probably going to be south. Just good. Just good. That's how it's going to go. Oh, Lord. Oh! Oh! Jesus, Lord. Help me. I'm on fire. Sorry. <laughs> Thor is a mighty hammer. My goodness. Do you see how much pressure I'm putting on this thing? Watch the bar bend. Get open. Yeah. Jeez, Louise. All right, I'm not giving up, guys. But this might confirm my suspicions of it being solid. Whoa! Sparks are flying. Oh! What the hell? I'm just gonna like your guys' point of view. No guys, it cracked. But it's not it's not solid. There's there's one side. And there's the other. Look at this. Why was it so hard? <sighs> Not this one. This one, my whole finger disappears in it. It's another big ear. Definitely worth the effort, but. <laughs> ah, she do be strong. She do be strong, bro. 
I can't. All right. Tell me what to do with the skinny end. <laughs> oh, Lord, it is getting toasty. guys hey yeah i'm gonna try and polish that big one up what is up donnie my man dude those gauges those gauges that you have bro are so so sick i need some of them labradorite ones labradorite ones all right guys thing maxes up. I wish I had a sound effects board just so every time this thing messes up I would play him just saying you stupid dog you made me look bad. <laughs> right? Ugh. There we go. Now we're going to move on. Jerk. How you like me now? <laughs> we were just on it with the quartz today, guys. That sounds like Aaron. Check that out, guys. And I definitely will, uh, I'm gonna turn the camera around at the end and show you guys all this. Um, give me a moment, I'm gonna, it may be loud for a second, I'm gonna open my garage up some. It's too hot in here. This crazy looking one. Um. <laughs> Why? Why does this geode? Look like Elmo. Does anybody else see Elmo or Grover? second because just the way I looked at it like I <laughs> I, I feed my son uh, the Sesame Street organic crackers and cookies and things like that so I see Elmo's face all the time <laughs> and it's Elmo 
All right, I'm gonna crack it around this way so I can keep Elmo's face. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. something I hate something I hate about my neighborhood there is no Chinese food places within like a two mile radius okay but it always smells like Chinese food it always smells like Chinese food but there's no Chinese food places around you know how frustrating that is I'm a fat guy that likes Chinese food and I smell it all the time. And it's not around me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Woo! All right. Time for the Elmo geode. Really just gonna slide off like that. Yeah, how about that? Let's see you slide off that. Sorry guys. I'm really tired. A little slap happy. And it's hot. Oh my gosh! Ah. Alright, we have the first break. Alright, well screw you Elmo. I don't want to break, but that part of it broke, but he's still, where is he? He's still chilling over here. Who turned out the lights? Yeah, I'll save him. I'll cut him open. Yeah, how you like me now, Elmo? Now you're going to get cut. <laughs> All right, guys. Four geos left. Moving on. This one's got Well it appears this one's got a little bit of a hole. No, it's because of the uh the garage. Because I opened it. Now the lighting was on. The light was on the sensor. But this one has a wee little hole right there. So we're just going to go right around this way. Let's be honest though, it's most likely solid. I mean, we all, we all saw that. Nothing came out of it. <laughs> I'm definitely being sarcastic, guys. Is this side uh, gonna work? Will it? Nope. so far today. Thanks for stopping by. 
I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I know it's not Wednesday, okay? I know. I'm sorry. I mixed up my days. So I am aware it is not hump day. I will edit it after this video is done. <laughs> All right. There we go. All righty. It's dirty. Got a lot of milky quartz in there we got three separate cavities here one here one here and one here this one obviously being the bigger one so that's really interesting thump day there we go <laughs> thump day hey mike 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 guess what day it is Oh, I probably shouldn't yell. My, my garage is open now. <laughs> One of my neighbors is going to come over like, what? Were you saying something? Uh, we've got three geodes left, guys. It's so sad. But man... This quartz is on fire, guys. This quartz is on fire. <laughs> this quartz is on fire. This one rattles up a little bit. We can see some little quartz pockets showing there. Oh, surprise, surprise. Oh, a little more quartz there. I'm gonna try and crack this one around this way. And we will see what the other quartz inside looks like. This one, um, this one I'm not going to do anything more with, but it's got a whole bunch of uh, different pockets of quartz all over it. So this one I'm going to try and cut. Instead of just crushing everything. 
I might send this out to somebody who's got a slab saw. <coughs> Jason, what do you think? Is this thick enough for you to cut right down the middle? got this guy right here which is pretty interesting got a whole bunch of fossil material left on it but we're gonna go right around this way I think I think we're gonna get some Batrioto Chalcedony in this one that's my guess seeing things. I swear I saw a shadow or someone walk over there and something gets thrown over there. I'm like, whoa, what's going on here? Yeah, let's, let's mess with the dude with all the, the big heavy tools and rocks. I'm just kidding guys, nobody's messing with me. <laughs> all right. No, Jim's gonna fall asleep. Wake up, Jim. It's all right, there's just two geodes left. Here we go. Ah. No, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. So, this one's kind of crazy. We've got some, uh, wow, we got what appears to be some pyrite in here too, guys. That's pretty awesome. I've never found pyrite like this in a geode. I have to check it out with my loop, but I'm pretty sure that's pyrite. It's either pyrite or it's uh, gothite. But that one kind of broke, which is okay because it exposed this little cavity inside of there, which I might be able to 
to do something with that. Polish that up, though. I swear I keep seeing somebody over there. I'm sorry guys, I gotta be right back. My neighbor's gonna play around and get hurt one of these days. Creeping around on the side of my house. Not a smart idea. <laughs> oh. Sorry, pardon me, almost hurt an innocent guy. <laughs> Rock God. <laughs> I won't talk I won't I won't talk about the spirits that I see. We got this big old whomper here. <laughs> oh Travis! Yes! <laughs> Cracked open a geode and a ghost came out. <laughs> oh, I'm making somebody angry. But all right, we got this big crazy thing. Hopefully it's not a... Uh... Oh, I, I did, I, I did, I had the hammer with me, where'd it go? <clears throat> I set it down when I walked, when I walked in. That's what I'm saying, like, <laughs> my, my neighbor almost made a bad, a bad choice. I'm a very defensive person. You're in a dark place, I can't see you, you don't announce yourself. And I'm holding something and you startle me. No es bueno, wey. No es bueno. All right, I don't even, I don't even know. All right, we're gonna go around this way, I think. Not when I'm on like hyper vigilant mode, especially now, like I, I open the doors so that I can get air in here and I can literally just see the back door to my house and like my kitchen and things. So of course I'm watching to make sure the house is okay. Like my kids are okay. They're in bed sleeping. I got the monitor going over there for my little guy, like always, but. <laughs> All right guys, last geode of the night. Pardon the, uh, the random steps. <laughs> but anywho last one it feels pretty heavy I hope it's not solid but I've said that about a lot of them and I've been wrong every time so here we go I'm going to say it again I hope it's not solid smoky Sounds like somebody just went bowling and, and hit a strike. Alright guys, I did not see if it's solid or hollow. Both halves are facing down. So, 
Dun, 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 dun. Mostly solid. We got a little bit of quartz going on in there. We got a little bit of a uh, calcitony over that quartz. Nothing too super duper spectacular. But that's okay. I'm gonna grab you guys. It is smiling. I noticed that. All right. Wow. 